Cause you grew all the pieces <laughs> back together Yeah, you that What I do now is the most important part of our routine Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever This is our I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Yeah, now we've got to try and eat. <laughs> With two babies! What is going on everyone? Welcome back to our channel. As you can tell from the title, today we are filming our evening routine. This is Noah, who I've got here, and Ellen's got Ari. Oh, and he's dropped his dummy. Oh, no. They are identical twin boys, and they are three months old now. So we thought we'd just show you what our evening routine looks like. It's gonna be very hectic, chaotic. As you can see, Ellen's eating her tea on the go. It's pizza night. And this, if this doesn't prove how <laughs> unprepared we are, the, the oven chips are still in the tray. That's how we roll here. I haven't even cut my pizza up, so I'm literally gonna have a calzone. Our evening routine starts about half five when I finish work. The boys wake up from their nap, which we're trying to introduce. It's a new thing. It's kind of not going that well, but kind of <laughs> we're gonna try. I'm trying really hard to introduce nap times. So we're gonna eat this now whilst wielding babies. Right. For anyone comments, we do usually put them down, but they've just woken up from their nap and they're extremely grouchy. So they're gonna be with us here. Unless and they can even have a bit babies. of my pizza. They can even have a bit of the pizza. They can mm -hmm. have what they want. So we're gonna eat this, go for our evening walk, which we do every single night and then we'll bring you along for the rest of it. If you enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so this actually happens a lot later on in our evening routine, but I just wanted to jump in here to tell you about today's sponsor of this video, which is Skin and Me. Now I have seen Skin and Me everywhere. I've heard really, really good things about it. So when they reached out to us and asked us if we wanted to work with them and to try their products, we jumped at the opportunity. If you haven't heard about Skin and Me before, it's personalized skincare with active ingredients in that you actually can't buy over the counter. And the way that they cater it specifically to you is by you filling out a consultation online where it will ask you loads of questions about your goals, what your skin's like, what you want to achieve. So for example, when I filled out mine, my goal was to be able to get rid of the spots that I currently have on my cheeks and the scarring as well that I've got from spots that I've previously had from when I came off the contraceptive pill many, many years ago. When I filled in my consultation, I wrote that down and then what happens then is that gets sent to Skin and Me and then they design your daily doser specifically to meet your needs. So the really special thing about Skin and Me is that it's actually designed by dermatologists. So if you're currently waiting to see a dermatologist, this kind of cuts out the middleman because it's designed by them. So everybody's daily doser is actually different. Me and Fab have had completely different goals and the ingredients in each of our daily doses are different because we've got different goals. So how it works is basically, it is what it says on the tin, it's a daily doser. You use this once a day and it actually only pushes out the amount that you need for that day. So you have no wastage. So you just turn it until it clicks and that is how much you need. And then you basically just put that on all over your face. I tend to put mine on just before I go to bed and that is enough for your face. Now I don't know about everybody else but I am a nightmare for overusing products on my face when you don't need to. And another really clever thing about Skin and Me is once you've subscribed they actually send you a daily doser for the next month before you run out. If you're like me and currently don't have time to keep popping out and grabbing stuff, this is really ideal because they'll just send it to your door. You don't have to even think about it. It just pops up and it's there and ready to use. So if you want to try out Skin and Me, we've actually got a brilliant discount code that will get you your first daily doser for £3.50. Now, the daily doser is actually normally £24.99. So if you use our code, you'll get your first daily doser for £3.50. So if you want to try it out, it is 110% worth it. And like always, the link to Skin and Me is in our description box below. So go and click that, use our code and get signed up. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's better. Boop. 
Hey! Boop! Where do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> Those out. Cheeky wipes. Don't worry, we don't use boiling water on the boys' bottoms. These are awesome. They're just like wipes that you use natural oils on. You put boiling water in there, let it cool down. Much better than using like wipes out of a packet. How about to put you in here, eh? What? On top of this bit. He looks happy to me. I can't be very comfortable. We've learned to get everything ready, get your coat on, get your keys ready, pretty much be out the door before you put the beanies on because usually they scream the place down, they hate their hats. Right, so just quickly before we leave, because otherwise when we get back it's just chaos. All the bottles have now been sterilised so I'm just going to put them together and put them into our nighttime carrier. So we always take this up to bed with us, it's got all of the bottles in for the night and we also like take things up like... I don't know, if the boys have got a cold, we'll put the snot sucker in here. We put the dummies in here. Um, we put the cheeky white box in there. So it basically, it just acts as something to take everything upstairs with us so we haven't got to come down in the night. It just makes stuff like nighttime feeds a lot easier and stuff. So I'll just put these together quickly before we go. Fab is just to the left of me. <laughs> Anyone else just constantly burn their fingers when they get stuff out of the sterilizer because they're so impatient to wait for it to cool down. In fact, no, I'm not impatient. I'm on a tight schedule. Whenever Fab sterilizes bottles, <laughs> it's actually true, isn't it? He always leaves one thing out, like he'll always like not leave like part of a bottle on the side or so now I've got to put this into sterilize oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. this into sterilize on its own in the microwave which in the uk economy energy scales is going to cost about 20 quid <laughs> by the way this video is going to be absolute chaos like if this isn't the contraception that you needed then <laughs> oh, don't we love you boys don't we? it's just a nighttime routine with a newborn it's a realistic nighttime it's routine. a very realistic one none of this Ooh, we're gonna light the candle and then we're gonna lay down the muslin in an envelope duck shape. <laughs> no, 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 no. Give it 30 seconds and they'll be out like a light. I'm sure a lot of babies are like this, but they absolutely love the pram, don't they, Al? Yeah, pram it's like in the our car. safety cool, cool. It's like our safety blanket, isn't it? Yeah. If they're kicking off, get out for a walk. Yeah, we always do this before their bedtime. Otherwise, if you stay at home, they just get overly tired and grouchy, yeah. don't they? It's an actual thing called witching hour. You glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you making me want to try forever. And I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. Realistic, so I have to run back and get the camera every time I do that. So I have actually come back early from our walk and this is what tends to happen so that I can then start getting stuff ready for bedtime. So Fab is still out on the walk with the boys. He's actually should be nearly back now. Um, so I just had a shower, done all my skincare and now I'm going to get stuff ready for the boys so that it all runs smoothly in our evening routine. I would say that what I do now is the most important part of our routine because it means that everything just runs smoothly right up until the boys go to bed otherwise it's just absolutely frantic and we are trying to go around and get everything ready so the first thing that i do is i get all of the boys pajamas and stuff ready actually on the bed because then when we come in from the bath and we go straight onto the bed and get them into their pajamas and then once the boys pajamas ready and everything's ready in the bedroom i come into the bathroom and get the bath towels ready so I put the bath towels on there so that when we get the boys out of the bath we literally just put them on there. And by the time I've done all that, it's actually time for Fab to get home. So I've just had a phone call from him to say that he's actually at the front door and that I need to go and let him in. <laughs> so the boys are back from their walk now. Is he, is he and they're still asleep. Oh, which is rare. <laughs> Look how cute they are. In their little snowsuits. We're talking you know to each other. Is. Hey? <laughs> hey! It's bath time! Oh, look. No, Ari, it's okay. Hey! 
It's bath time! It's bath time! <laughs> oh, you're in a better mood now. Hey! Look at the contrast. This is twins for you, down to a T. So Fab's just in the bedroom getting the boys undressed. This is actually one of my favourite parts of our evening because the boys absolutely love it when Fab gets them undressed. They just giggle and giggle and giggle. It's so funny. So I come in and turn the bath on. And then by the time that that's ran and ready, the boys will be undressed and ready to go in. I also go and get the bottles ready for the evening feed while Fab is getting them undressed. So that when we come out of the bath, the bottles are ready to go because if we don't have the bottles ready to go, don't we know about it? And doesn't the whole street know about Jam it? Jam Muslim. This is my favourite time of the evening because we get 10 minutes of fun. I mean, usually we've got one crying baby. It's okay, let's give him a cuddle a sec, but this is the most fun part of the evening because we just get to have 10 minutes of playtime. Apologies for the cringe dad voice, but it's fun. Ari's having a bit of a moment. Elle's making the bottles for the night, so me and Noah are gonna have some fun. What are you saying? What? What? <laughs> Hello? Are you ready for your bath? Are you ready? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Are you feeling a bit happier? Are you? Are you feeling happier? Yes, mummy, I am. Thanks for doing that with my legs. Noah has wet hair, he looks like a little boy. This thing, look at him. Oh, little boy! This is Ari's cradle cap shampoo, by the way. is now dressed for night time. You always the day that they it. don't fit in these, I will be so sad. These are my favourite baby grows and they're from Zara. Shout out Harry and Paige. Yeah, our, our friends Harry and Paige got them for us. They wear and I absolutely love them. Whenever they're out of the wash, they wear them. <laughs> um, but I love them. It's like this towel and material, but I can't seem to find them on there anymore. But Ari, Ari, are you ready? Oh. It's bedtime feed. So we're gonna do the bedtime feed now. We turn the light off for this bit because the boys settle a lot better in the dark. We're using the Dr. Brown's bottles because the boys have got a little bit of reflux, which they're on a metro Well, a form. little bit, it's quite it's bad. A lot. It is quite bad. So this feed is usually quite And traumatic. I also feel like we need to stay here as well. That's why they're currently crying a lot. Um, it's because close. they're they're actually in pain from their reflux colic thing. They're actually on a metrosol now for it. Yeah. Um, but that's why they seem so grumpy and yeah. miserable. But we're just being real with you guys. And I know a lot of babies do actually suffer with um, colic and reflux. So we're here with you guys if you're currently going through it as well because it's really, really hard. It is tough. I feel like it's a really lonely place, isn't it, when your baby mm. has colic and reflux because you just think that it's your babies but i know for a fact there's lots of other people who are currently going through this as well yeah so i just wanted to put that in here because it's hard but you love your babies and you just don't want them to be in, in pain which is why it's hard this is usually the only time we get to drink our juice <laughs> so, <laughs> we have our whole daily amount yeah, here in the night so me and ellen are up we in constantly in the night time mm. just a rumble in Ari's pants and I don't know what it was. I don't think he does either. So the boys now are in separate next to me cribs because they were waking each other up in the night and they actually sleep so much better on their own which is really really sad. sad in one of the last videos we did we tried putting them in their own cots and they didn't like it but since then 
we tried again and they sleep much better on their own. Much better. I think they were just getting too big now. They were hitting each other, waking each other up. So now there's one my side and there's one Ellen's side and we alternate mm. where we sleep so that they don't get confused on the sides. But So once these boys have settled, that is when we will go and have a shower we will go downstairs and just usually I'll put the dishwasher on, make sure all the lights are off, get everything ready for downstairs, well, do. isn't it? I don't need to do that. No. I do mine all earlier on in the in the evening. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm always the late the late bloomer with the evening routine. So yeah, it is five past eight now is when we're putting them down and usually they'll wake up about half one, won't they? Yeah. They get about five and a bit hours in this first stint. The days of when they were getting two hours sleep, we thought we oh weren't gonna goodness. make it through it. It was like <laughs> It was the Those worst. Those days where they feed every three hours. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That was hard. Yeah. That was that was. Waking we up every every pits. two hours, we were awake, and but then it, that we we only got like an hour sleep, didn't we? Because by the time they got back down. Yeah, yeah. It was just not fun whatsoever. And just to give you all a bit of a reality check, in case you're in the same situation. This is what our kitchen currently looks like after a day slash evening with the boys. So I'm just gonna give this a quick tidy up now. The boys always come first and then we'll worry about the mess later. Final thing that I do is I will have my creatine before bed because we both go to the gym. If you know, you know I have it with apple juice. Look at the difference that me and Ellen have the height of our shower. Right, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that's given you an insight into our evening routine. It's a bit chaotic. chaotic. <laughs> but I mean, that's what works for us at the moment and they're, they're doing all right. I say they're doing all right on it. We're having, we're, it's a daily it's, change. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. we're just taking it day by day. But if you've got twins, maybe this made you feel a bit better. If you want to check out Skin and Me, use our code FABNLYT. Click the link in the description and you'll get your daily dose of what, 350 is it? 350, it's a 24.99. Instead of 25 quid. Which so is an absolute bargain. It is, yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. We will catch you in next week's video. Bye.